Howdy everybody, it's the Ross Boss here. And today I'm doing a review. I recently purchased and had delivered a Helix gaming chair with cooling technology. Actually, I didn't even notice the cooling technology feature because I have really haven't experienced the cooling technology feature of it. But um, here's my review. Uh, I, 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 had, I got the chair yesterday, so I've had about a day with it. And I got it from Staples. The original price on it was, I think, quoting, let me turn off this fan, uh, I think $299, and it was like 53% off, so it was about 100 and it ended up being about 160 bucks after tax delivered to my house. Uh, shipping was free. Um, I got it, put it together, it took about 10 minutes to put together, get the wheels on, everything. Here is the chair. Okay, now, and yes, it looks pretty, it looks all the gamer stuff, you know, it has a lot of features. And this is my original chair that, that I've been having for about the last year. Yeah, it's beat up. It's it's falling up. You know, all the stuff's falling off of it. Um, when you sit in it for a while, it'll pop. It'll the the side thing will pop out, and you know, it's 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 pretty done. So I've been wanting a new chair for a long time. I wanted a gaming chair for a long time. Um, I started looking one up, and I saw this one, and I ordered it, and I got it, and this is what I think of it so far and it looks like i'll be taking it back to staples tomorrow for a return and i'm going to tell you why well first off when it came shipped there were two cuts in the fabric i've covered them with uh, electrical tape there was one right here and there was one right here on the back where where uh the metal pole goes into the chair there was a cut on it and you know once one of these things get a little cut on them it's just gonna it's just gonna spread from there and as far as the, the features of the chair, what I like and don't like, I like the color. I like all the, the neat stuff that goes with it, but that's about it. The problems I have with it is this is at the, the low point of it. As low as it goes, my feet are still mostly off the ground, and I'm used to my other chair, which goes a little bit lower. So this it's, first off, it's already sitting too high. Second, you got these uh, sliding uh, bars for your for your for your armrest but no matter but they're still about an inch too far from the back of the the back of the chair so when i'm sitting in it, my elbows always still hanging off the back yeah it goes left and right and up and down but i i need it to go back a further inch um these two things on the side that kind of keep your legs in are very stiff they're not malleable at all so so it always feels like there's something pushing your legs together um the lumbar cushion just doesn't it, it, it's, it really doesn't do much it just looks nice it really it really doesn't you don't you don't really feel a good thing on your back you feel like you're not far, far enough back into the chair for it to ever take place the pillow uh sits a little low and no matter what you can't really get it to sit higher because these velcro these i'm sorry yeah these straps on them aren't adjustable to tighten they just clip on and off same with these these the lumbar thing can go up and down, but you can't tighten it. Um, as far as the lean back, sure, you can lean it all the way back, but that's not really necessary. Um, you can, but yeah, you can lean it back and you can put it in a position to where like it stays back like this, but still my problem, the whole, my biggest problem is that my, it's, it's, it's two inches too high. It's, it's just two inches too high, and it's making me use a footstool or putting my feet up on the desk just to be comfortable in it. And this was outside ready for the trash, and I've already pulled it back in because I'm just more comfortable in it. So, looks like I'm going to be going back to Staples tomorrow and get me back $150. I was just thinking of exchanging it for another one without the cuts in it, but the more I sit in it and realize it's just too high for me, so... That's the Ross Boss review of the Helix gaming chair with, I guess, cooling technology, but I haven't felt it yet. Um, yeah, I'm not too thrilled with it, so it's going back. All right, I'm out. Take care, everybody.